and the sun is rising in Bangkok. Today is washing day. Ah, oh, what a life I lead. One of the main reasons why I love creating videos on YouTube is the comments. I love engaging with the people that watch my videos and I love answering questions and sharing experiences. Being in the shower, brush my teeth, put some gel in my hair, it's time to get on with the day. Hello explorers, how are you doing? I hope you are all well. I know my introduction is a little bit later on in the video today, but I just wanted to try a new style of video. I want to give you more behind the scenes. I want to document a little bit more of what life is like as a long-term traveler and remote worker. And I plan to do this video every Sunday. So I'll pick a day of the week and just share with you that day, everything that goes on in that day. Over the next couple of weeks, you're going to see this place a little bit in my videos. This is my living room, the bedroom's through there, and I really need to take that washing to the laundrette. Just been to the little laundrette in my building, and the clothes are washing. And this is the powder, anybody's interested. Yeah, I don't know why I'm sharing the powder. Yeah, shut up Darren. Just been to the 7-Eleven and purchased a few items. This cost me 108 baht. Apologies for the uh, aircon noise in the background. It started to get quite warm in my apartment because the sun is rising. Looks a gorgeous day today. But anyway, this is what I purchased at the supermarket. I got some Nescafe gold in a little sachets because the coffee in my apartment is pretty rank to be honest it's not great and I've also got some no fat strawberry yogurt and some granola which is for my breakfast I go through about two of these bottles of water this is about one and a half litres so I'll probably drink about three litres of water a day which is good for you but you need to keep hydrated and when it's very hot and humid this stuff is so important before we get on with the rest of the day, I have a question from a viewer. And the question is, how is life in Bangkok and how is the new job going? Great question, thank you for asking. If you've got any questions, don't forget to ask them down in the comments and I might feature the question in a future video. So life in Bangkok is fantastic. I love the city. It's crazy, it's noisy, it's busy, but I love that about the city. I love the food, the culture, and I just feel at home here. I love this little apartment that I've got, which you'll see in my videos throughout the next couple of weeks. And yeah, I'm just loving life here. And the new job is going well. I'm learning new skills and that is taking a little bit of time to learn, but I like learning new stuff. This isn't the same type of role that I had before. This is very much more customer focused rather than being behind the scenes as a quality assurance tester. But I'm enjoying it, and who knows how long this job will go for. It's a contract, so it could end at any time. It could be three months, six months, or like my last contract, 20 months. Fingers crossed it's as long as that because it's going to allow me to save up, to continue to travel and have these spells where between three and six months I don't have to worry about work, I can just enjoy the travels and that's what I'd like to do going forward. Do these big long contracts, save as much money as I can and then have like three, six months out. But we'll see how things go. Hopefully this contract will be long term and that would be fantastic. This is my SIM card for my mobile phone and I take this with me when I go out exploring because it has my details so that I can log into the Wi-Fi hotspots which are available all over the city. This cost me 400 baht for 3 gig of data. I'm just packing my day pack. I thought we would go out to Chatterchuck Market today. So this is what I'm taking with me today. I've got a baseball cap, I've got my MacBook Pro, I've got my Bose wireless headphones, I've got my Zoom microphone in case I need to gather any external sounds. I've got my spare t-shirt in case I get too sweaty. I've got my umbrella and my SIM card so I can log into the free Wi-Fi hotspots. I started off this trip with seven pairs of socks. I've got one and a half pairs left. Where did they go? My God, disappearing socks.
Welcome to Chattachuk Weekend Market. It's the largest market in Thailand and you'll find literally everything for sale here. E.T. phone home. Got myself an orange drink for 30 baht. When you arrive in the market near the entrances, you can pick up a free map and it just shows you the size of the market. It's absolutely huge. So this is why I come to the market today for the food. Yeah, okay. We've got pony granite juice here. Lots of seafood. And all these spices here. So all the food cooking. The main issue we've come in here early is that it's just rammed full of cars. It's really difficult to film here because people are just walking straight in front of the camera. So we're in the indoors area of the market right now. I think it's time for some food. So I'm sat down at my table just waiting for my chicken pad thai. So as you can see I've gone for a pad thai, a chicken one. We've got the bean sprouts, we've got the chicken, uh, lots of noodles in here as well. I think this is lemongrass, I could be wrong. And then we've got a little bit of lime here as well. I like mine quite hot so I've got chilli powder on here, I put some chillies in as well to just mix it all together. I'm not too sure how you're supposed to eat these, if you're supposed to eat them all but mix it all up. Yeah, you can just see how busy the place is, very popular. As the day goes on it gets busier and busier and I think it finishes about 8 o'clock at night. I think I've said this a few times. Yeah, this market's pretty rammed. Okay, we got away from the madness that is Chattachuk Market. I'm um, going to have a little walk around Chattachuk Park. And as you can see, with it being Sunday, all of the locals are chilling out in the sunshine, which is good to see. I think what we're going to do now is try and find a toilet. Just waiting for the BTS train. We're going to go to Factory Coffee, which is one of my favourite coffee houses here in Bangkok. And this is why getting the Sky Train or the MRT, the Metro, is the best thing to do in Bangkok because you spend a lot of time in traffic. Right, one coffee and passion fruit drink later. About two hours I've been in there. Back in my apartment. Time for a swim. So this is the rooftop pool that I've been using. 
and it's at this point I try not to get my camera in the water but right now you are all swimming with me So as you can see we've got some pretty decent views of the city from up here. For me the 30 day challenges have replaced my New Year's resolutions. These are smaller goals that I want to achieve through the year. So in January, it's all about becoming a stronger swimmer and being more confident with the water. And that's what I'm doing. So every day I'm going for a swim. I started off with five lengths, then went to 10, 15, and I'm now at 20. Now, obviously they're not full swimming pool lengths because it's a pool in an apartment complex, not a full size pool. But I can tell that I am becoming much more stronger and the position I want to be in is definitely not in February but at some point in 2018 I would like to pluck up the courage to go for a snorkel in the sea. So that's where we're heading and that's why I've set myself this goal for January. And so far it's going well. Not too sure what my challenge will be for February yet so if you've got any suggestions leave them down in the comment section. Those of you that are super explorers and have watched this video to the end, I would love to know down in the comments what you feel about this style of content. What I want to do on a Sunday is upload this type of video. So basically, during the week, I will take a day, a random day, when I've got lots of things going on, and I will share with you that day. I will record everything that I get up to from waking up to going to bed. Today, I'm obviously having to cut it a little bit short because I've got to get this video edited and uploaded because I'm not quite organised with my videos yet and I'm doing everything at the last minute. So that's what I'm planning to do is just take a random day of the week, have a bit of exploring, a bit of kind of Darren in his apartment, a bit of cooking. I haven't had spaghetti bolognese for ages. I've not done that on my video for a while or omelettes in the morning, that kind of thing. And I know there's a few of you that enjoy that type of content along with my exploring. So let me know what you think about this style of video, if you enjoyed it or not. I'm going to leave the video here. If you've enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, hit on that subscribe. If you enjoyed it loads and loads, then please don't forget to share it on social media so it helps me build this community here on YouTube. Until next time, until next Saturday, I shall be back with a new video from Bangkok in Thailand. Take care. Don't forget to explore and keep safe.